Welcome to Conversations, Season 2 of the MTA Podcast Series, a weekly audio cast featuring interviews with leading investment strategists, geopolitical experts, and other key thought leaders. Brought to you by the Market Technicians Association. Welcome to Conversations, the official MTA podcast. My name is Alex Piroglu, and today I'm joined by my good friend, Avi Hooper. Avi is a senior global rates and FX portfolio manager for Invesco Fixed Income. And he will be presenting to the monthly meeting of the UK chapter of the MTA. The topic of the presentation will be combining fundamental and technical analysis. Both the presentation and the interview itself have been videoed and are available to watch at the MTA website along with the archives of all the UK chapter monthly meeting, technical presentation and presenter interviews as well. Without further delay, let's talk to Avi. Avi, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Alex. Um, okay, usually begin, uh, the first question is to give us some information about your um, personal and educational background before getting involved with uh, technical analysis. Sure, well, Alex, I grew up in Vancouver, Canada, and I started my studying in, in finance, probably like a lot of people. I uh, studied in, in Toronto, uh, completed a bachelor's degree in administrative studies, which really was a focus on finance and accounting. Mm -hmm. I realized very quickly that although being Canadian and fond of the country, the opportunities in our profession were generally quite limited. Fortunately, my father happens to be British, which has enabled me to have a British passport. And I knew to progress in our industry in fund management, coming to London was going to be my best opportunity. I came here at the end of 2000 with the, in part study of the CFA program, mm -hmm. which I had completed the first level back in Toronto. I knew when I came to London, the future of the industry is really about professional development. And I knew at that stage that the CFA program was something that I needed to complete. So having completed that here in London, while working as an investment analyst, I started my career to portfolio manager where I'm at today. All right. Um, how did you get first involved with um, technical analysis, uh, switching from the CFA side of the business to the same team part of it? Well, I really enjoyed the study of the CFA program. But I quickly realized in the first couple of years of my time here in London, working on investment analysis and asset allocation decisions, that the economic theories and a pure fundamental view wasn't going to be enough to generate excess return that our investors, our clients would expect. I came across at that stage a multitude of reference books of which I began to read and get very enthusiastic about technical analysis. The ability to understand human behavior through price. Um, so through your, your the studies that you mentioned, could you please describe your day-to-day um, -day responsibilities and the most challenging aspect of your work? Well, my main focus today at Invesco Fixed Income is managing institutional client portfolios in global rates and currencies. So the bulk of my day is spent using various forms of market analysis to make investment recommendations as I wear two hats. One is an analyst on very specific alpha sources where I can use a multitude of instruments and ways of expressing views in our client portfolios. The other hat is as portfolio manager. Mm -hmm. So I must take the views of not only my alpha sources, but our global team of analysts that sit all over the world and take their views in constructing our client portfolios. The biggest challenge that I have then is to make sure that the final portfolio is diversified. At a time that we face today of higher volatility, building diversified portfolios, but that express the views of our network of analysts is something that, as you probably understand, is an ongoing challenge in terms of portfolio construction. Um, so in light of that, could you um, please talk about your uh, technical analysis 
toolbox. What are your favorite tools and techniques? What would you um, what do you specialize in? Well, I'm quite a simple person, and I believe that ultimately the analysis of price is recognizing that human beings f feel more comfortable in following each other. In essence, they create trends. I use moving averages, simple, exponential, to identify where we are in a specific asset market in terms of the trend. Now to assess the strength of that trend, I use a combination of well-known momentum indicators, tools such as stochastics, the RSI, as well as MACD. I also recognize, although those are objective and quantifiable tools in identifying trend, qualitative areas. Technical analysis is also a lot about art. And I do spend a lot of time, as you probably do as well, staring at chart and chart patterns. Markets appear to have a memory. And certain levels are reached that generate equilibrium in markets. Many would call those support and resistance. Um, in order to create this arsenal of tools, um, who would you say have been your, um, your greatest influences in terms of, for example, if I asked you to recommend your top three uh, technical analysis books, which ones would this be? Well, I would say beyond books, because there's so many to list. I think there's a lot of very well-respected, very specialist authors in the marketplace. What I would want to highlight is the importance of the programs that make official the technical analysis framework, such as the MTA. In London, there's other diploma programs, one of which I completed back in 2005. It's a lot of those members and the lecturers that gave me the tools to then go ahead and further develop my expertise in technical analysis. Brilliant. Um, so, coming back to the uh, to technical analysis principles, um, if you could distill your market knowledge um, in a few axioms, which ones um, would this be? Well, as I talk about trying to identify and find trends in asset markets, I think my favorite would have to be the trend is your friend mm -hmm. until it's no longer a trend. Um, fun fact, this is usually the part of the interview when we try to um, uh, find a bit more personal information about the, um, the presenter. Um, what do you usually do outside of uh, market hours? Well, my wife and I are avid golfers. And it's funny, of all the years playing golf, the one thing that keeps getting me back to the golf course is trying to get better. And I feel there's tremendous parallels between what I do for a living and the game of golf. Every day, the markets, your experience on the golf course, evolve. And we must evolve with them through hard work and dedication. Brilliant. And that uh, wraps up today's uh, MTA podcast. My guest, my guest today was Abby Cooper. For the MTA, I'm Alex Pirblu. See you next time. <laughs>